States. The coastal bend community, of course, staying also on high alert ahead of any severe weather that could come our way. City providing free sand for sandbags, enough for about 14,000 bags. And that is where we find our Brandon Schaff live for us tonight off of Holly and Ayers as cars line up for distribution. I see some of those cars behind you, Brandon. Yeah, good evening, Rudy and Leslie. We are here set up in that location, as you just mentioned, right by Holly and Ayers. We're going to walk and talk here and just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like at this line right here. This is right off of Civiton Drive, which is uh, at that intersection of Ayers and Holly. This sandbag distribution will go until 7.30 p.m. tonight. The city says, as you can see those sandbags right there, they have 14,000 sandbags to give out over the next few days. That's on top of 10,000 sandbags that they've already distributed over the last two weekends. They had some events to try to get ahead of this, and now you've got this influx of people that are here over the next few days, you would imagine, will be lined up trying to take advantage of this and prepare their homes for any potential flooding that could be coming from Hurricane Barrel and whatever that could entail at the time that it gets to the coastal men. Now this does go Wednesday through Friday at this location. It goes until 7.30 p.m. tonight and then between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Friday. And city officials saying that this is just another way that people can prepare for a potential hurricane and the conditions that come with that in our area. But for now, reporting live here from Civiton Drive, we'll be back at 3 News at 6 with more reaction from some of the people filling up their cars. We'll send it back to you, Brandon Chaff, 3 News. As you heard him mention, that distribution center will be going on through Friday. We have all those details on our website online for you as well. Brandon, thank you for that live report.